up everybody? It's your boy, Aiden Nunley, back with another video, and this is part two of the trip. Uh, we're about to go do some fun ass shit in this one. We're required to take an extensive training course and not wear facial hair. Enjoy yourself, but keep the screaming down. I have a math test to study for. If I don't get a C, I get kicked out of the audio visual club. I felt that one. <laughs> Okay, you want to talk about childhood? Men in Black is my childhood. So, we're doing this right now. Five minutes. When the pilot of the titanium... As you can see, folks, the scoreboard just does not fucking lie. So take that person sitting next to me. I think it's safe to say I'm him. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I don't remember a damn thing. What I say? Told y'all, this is my shit. I'm the best men in black agent there ever was. They call me Agent AIDS, you get me?
Anyways, so currently patrolling Hogwarts. Um, you know, back on my wizard shit, you think? I mean, they got the whole setup. They got everything. Do I cop the butterbeer though? Do I get butterbeer? I, I think I might. I, I think I might. Alright. Let's see what this is about now. Holy shit, that's fucking good. What? It's low-key just like the movies. They got them in boxes. That's pretty clean. This is crazy. That's Drew Barrymore as a kid. That's good. Oh, 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 Government's after ET, we gotta save him. Oh, oh. You'll never see us down here. Hold it right there. Whoa! Yeah, you're yeah, not gonna get us when we fly him. like I'm in the movie. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. E -T.
Okay, so I went to Harry Potter land, and I learned a new spell! When Guardian Leviosa, I need a girlfriend, I'm fucking lonely! <laughs> I just broke my fucking nail! Blood is everywhere! Oh, fuck. Alright everybody, it's another day. Uh, day three in Orlando. Uh, today, I'm going to Disneyland. Yeah, you heard it right. I'm going to motherfucking Disneyland. You know how to stop and get some damn Chick-fil-A. That was the vibe for sure today. And uh, yeah, now I'm on my way to Disney. Got myself a new shirt too. Looking good, feeling good. And yeah. It's the most magical place on earth. And I'm here. Okay, so I'm a dumbass and I did like two circles but I eventually found a way to park. Um, Disney is crazy confusing with parking, but I figured it out and we're here. Thank you. So I believe I'm gonna take a ferry boat to Disney. It's literally a whole process to get to the theme park. But we're gonna figure it out. Oh, this is so fucking cool. <laughs> this is this is just too awesome, man. And this is why you gotta live, you know what I mean? This is this is what it's all about. We do ask that while on board, the stairs remain clear while the boat is in motion. Once again, welcome aboard. So I took a boat to uh, the main place, but right now I'm going to go try to find a bus to Animal Kingdom. I'm going to try to do all four parks in one day, so that's the goal. So Animal Kingdom first because it closes first. Okay, so I shit you not, after three fucking buses. I have finally made it to Animal Kingdom. I've been riding buses for about an hour 
just to find the right damn place. But I found it. See, this is why I rely on maps all the time. And it's truly embarrassing that I have no sense of direction. I gotta get better because holy fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go scan my tickets in now. Okay, so I have made it into Animal Kingdom and we're heading towards uh, Discovery Island. It's so pretty out here, huh? I have no clue where I'm going, but I'm going to figure it out. I found the place they are honoring my brother, a true hero, a true hero of the American culture. I salute you, my brother, and I miss you every day. Hate to be you. <laughs> Yo, they got a zebra back there. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Homie just straight chilling. Let's go! And John welcome mitts. Now on the left hand side you also may be able to see the the sorry, saddlebolt stork, and they have a wingspan of seven to nine feet in length and will mate for life, foraging and nesting together in pairs. They've also been known to fight off other pairs of saddlebolt stork together as well. Rhinos only weighing around three thousand pounds. They also have a prehensile... Only 3,000 pounds. Oh, look at that. And look at that right there. Wow. It may look like they swim around here, but they don't swim that much. Instead, what they do is they float. That is a big boy. They'll sink down to the bottom of the river bed in order to walk Those or Those are the strongest animals it. on the planet. Their bite power is absolutely it's fucking ridiculous. It's great they were able to find the hippos around here. However, I still want to find something a in little scarier. In case y'all didn't scarier. know that. Anything that comes their path, they're most likely going to try to eat it. Just make sure you're staying seated, though, my friends. Now, they're not all that bad, as the Nile crocodiles will also put their eggs inside of their mouths. The bro's oh, mouth is right wide open. Hatch. He's ready to eat. <laughs> However, I have had these animals charge at me a couple of times, <laughs> so we're going to leave it alone just for a moment and keep exactly where it is, which is away from us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see yeah, that's smart. But I want to take like a that. break. And if you didn't get a good view of the Maasai giraffe, we are going to be coming. Anyone know what it is? Ostrich. That's right, it's the ostrich. Largest and heaviest bird in the world, and they also produce the largest eggs. Their eggs are so strong from a misunderstanding of the Afrikaans' word fight. Meaning wide. Because they do have a very wide and flat lip that's going to help them graze on grass. <laughs> How about this? We're going to stop just for a second so we get a couple more sleeping. What up, King? We've got a night to hunt. <laughs> However, right, right over here we can see, awkwardly close to the lines, we do have the water buck. A very strange antelope as it prefers to stay close to the water source and not move too far away from it. But if you want to get a picture of that lion. Oh. So right now I'm actually in Pandora. Uh, this is the place from the Avatar movies. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. It's absolutely beautiful out here. No denying that. All right, so that does it for Animal Kingdom. Uh, now I'm going to head to the Hollywood side of things, so I'll see you when I get there. Oh, 
If you're traveling with kids, be sure to keep an eye on them. And remember, they will leave the stores. Please, get in the car. Hey, lady, what's going on? Sorry, folks. We gotta go. What? They just got here. What am I supposed to do with them? Chris, can you grab my blacklist, Paul? Chris went home two hours ago, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Steven, can you talk to her hey, about wait this? Minute. Wait a minute. What? We can't leave these people here like this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We can't? No. Unbelievable. Come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah. yeah no. you guys, what do you expect me to do? Send them all with you? Actually, hey. how about the backstage passes, Steven? What do you think about that? Wait a minute. I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? What do you guys say? Backstage yeah. passes? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I hate you too. Hi, Sally. It's me. Listen, I'm going to need a bigger car. Make it a stretch. Uh, a little bigger, sweetie. It's a big group. Mm -hmm. In fact, make it a super stretch. There you go. Great. Right. <laughs> Proud of you. Excuse me. Okay, folks. Look, the show is all the way off the rock and roller coaster that was a throwback to the childhood i haven't been on that ride since the first grade so now i'm gonna go head to the tower of terror so if i'm not mistaken this is twilight zone shit this is pretty cool you're moving into a land of both shadow and substance of things and ideas you've just crossed over into the twilight, twilight zone <laughs> Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business elite. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard, because in tonight's episode, you are the star, and this elevator travels... Oh man, that was so cool. Okay, so, now we're going deep inside the tower of terror. <laughs> Into your very own the Twilight Zone. Stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and had a nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. Oh no! There we go.
You were about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror. Oh, <laughs> shit. A warm welcome back to those of you who made it, and a friendly word of warning, something you won't find in any guidebook. The next time you check into a deserted hotel on the dark side of Hollywood, make sure you know just what kind of vacancy you're filling, or you may find yourself a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. That's where all the Wookiees stay. So now I've entered the Star Wars section of things. This is another thing that is from my childhood. This whole trip is just reliving my childhood. I mean, you can't beat this. You know what I mean? Going on vacation by yourself, exploring parts of your childhood. Like, can it get much better than that? R2D2. CP3 <laughs> That goes so hard. What the fuck? This is so cool, I can't even know. I know you are, but what is that? I don't have time for this. Destroy! Destroy. Kenobi. We're whipping out with Han Solo, you already know it. Oh. Okay, I might have been a little bit of a nerd. I had to. I, I had to cop. Holy hell! I am on a time crunch like a motherfucker! I have so much shit in my hands! Holy fuck! I made it! I made it though. I made it. Literally with like... 20 minutes before closing, I made the closing show for Disneyland. I had to miss out on the actual park, which sucks, but this is awesome. Alright, 
so made it back from day three. Um, I went to Animal Kingdom and I went to um, Hollywood, uh, Disney Hollywood. I just did not get to do the Magic Kingdom. I got to catch the ending show, that's about it. Uh, might go back tomorrow to do some of the rides at Magic Kingdom. Um, but I made it back and uh, yeah, I did some nerdy shit. So, you know, I'm on this trip for myself to really like get out there and do things for me. Well, I might have done something uh, a little much for me. Um, let's just say I joined the dark side. <laughs> she left me. Now she must pay for her sins. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, that's gonna wrap up day two of the vlog series and stay tuned and be ready because day three is dropping soon. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe. Yeah.